Ladies and gentlemen, this is Suleiman Umar Jallo Mojalanta Jallo, literally Suleiman Umar Jallo, the one who does not laugh with any idiot. But you already know that. So let's uh, let's just get to it. Recently, I posted a picture on uh, Facebook about a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, pool of water, dead of water. Okay. So, and I ask, do you do, does anyone know why they call what up? And we got so many different answers. So some people say is what up because uh, they they name after the cows because they heard him these big red cows that have these big horns, you know, called Bororoji. So those cow those cows are not called Bororoji; they call Bororoji. So that's why they're also called Bororobe. Okay, the what up and Bororobe the same thing and Bororoji or Bororobe. The Borobe, uh, they got from the cows, not the what are they? So it's not because they they raised the, the, these red, big red, beautiful cows. No, some people say because what are they? Is like uh, they they abandon what are they? So me what ike me what ike ma? It's like I abandoned you, I left you alone. What are they? It's like uh, or the cursed one or the the cursed by God. So I don't think God cursed anybody. I don't think God abandoned anybody. Um, so I don't think is what are they because of the curse or the abandon. No, that would say that would if if that was the case, then it would be what are they? What are they? Like what they came out? What are they? Not what are they? It's different. Some people say it's what are they because they're beautiful. Okay, they like what do they? So what do they turn into? What are they? I don't think that's necessarily that, even though that has a grain of truth in it, because they're beautiful people and they're always making themselves more beautiful. As we saw in that picture, that lady looking gorgeous with all these, uh, you know, makeup and scars and, uh, uh, yeah, cicatrice in French, you know. So, Wodube could be, could be, uh, could have some grain of truth in it, you know, but I don't think that's fully it. Okay, because they're not the only beautiful people. They're not the only beautiful uh, full uh, group. Go to Guinea, you'll see so many beautiful people. You don't even want to come back. Go to Niger, you see some beautiful people. You don't want to leave. Go to northern Nigeria. Uh -huh. Go to Cameroon. To Pulo Wonifunawodi. Wherever Pulo are, they are beautiful. So yeah, um, I don't think uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's the reason because of the beauty. Uh, what else do I get uh, as an answer? Uh, somebody said in his own belief they call what are they uh, people of taboo yes that's partially true partially true they are people of taboo taboo but how how is the question and why is the question Abdullah Berlo what are they serve the, the curse curse by God okay because he said their cousins neighbors Zarma Songoi and other ethnic group has superstitious and believe that marrying believe that marrying Fulani people is not a good thing because you will ru ruin yourself financially and then it's just bad luck. So because of that, they call that. If that was the case, then what up would not be the name. The word the name would be in Songhoi or in Zerma or in other ethnic group word, right? So the Zerma would not use the word what up to describe them because he doesn't speak their language. So you know, uh, that's why I think that one would not stand. Uh, Fatuma, Fatuma Taba said um, the word existing because they exist. Nwodi, meaning it is like uh, like uh, Descartes, uh, the philosopher, I think, therefore I am. So they exist, bef therefore they call what are because the word existing is Wodi, means existing in singular, and then Wodabe meaning, meaning the plural. In which case, if there are Wodabe in the sense of existing, what up it means own one like they're owned and i don't think they're owned by anybody they're like the most free people you can possibly find in uh in west africa they're very free nobody owns them actually so existing um in that case also uh, uh you know existing in that case could not be what up it could be uh wurbe. like they live they're alive they, they you know wurbe, not what up in my opinions okay uh, according to Sani Bayero, I think uh, uh, I'm related to this guy because I'm Pullo from uh, uh, Dalol, Dalol Bayero. That's my origin. So his name is Bayero, so we got that in common. So what are the Fulbe are among many Fulani clan or kindred? The descendant of an important Ardo, Borado, who lives around the 1400s. 
So out of what out of, I never knew about and a lot of people never, never knew about. So that's why uh, it's good to do these kind of videos because now we all know that what out came from out of what out of, which is amazing. But why again is he called what out of, you know? Um, the word Borado, according to him, Sani Bayero, means handsome people. So again, it goes back to the beauty. Uh, there's there's no gender difference in fulfill the language. So Debo or Gorko is Borado, same thing. Kindly check literature. He's recommended that we check the literature by German anthropologists who live in Lake Chad area around uh, 1900s. So 124 years ago, this guy lived there and did uh, document stuff. His name is Jan Chekhovnovsky. Uh, 1860, 1950s. Uh, he was an anthropologist, of course. Only anthropologists go somewhere and live with people and try to discover uh, about their culture. Only anthropologists do that. I, 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 I know that for a fact because I lived with an anthropologist in New York. Um, uh, somebody said because they because they're not real Fulani. That's that's all. No, that's not true. How? Who? Who decide who's real Fulani and who's fake Fulani? What do you have? DNA test? Um, Suleiman Sumana Masaba parce que avant il ne voulait pas la les dina Islam and that is the correct answer. Suleiman Sumana Masaba, I believe you're right. And who am I to say that's correct? But that's the one I also know, right? That's what I'm trying to say by saying he's correct. So he said it parce qu'il voulait pas la dina because they never wanted Islam and that's it. As we all know, West Africa or Africa in general, uh, except for the North was Islamized by Fulbe, Fulbe leaders like Usman Danfodio, Usman Abi Fodio, you know, al Haji Umar Tal, and those all, you know, help propagate Islam uh, across Africa. But this Islam that they spread in Africa uh, did not reach, for some reason, I don't know the reason either, so maybe you got to read that anthropologist book to understand that. Uh, that religion never reached to the Wadabi because they, I don't know, maybe they're moving around too much with their cows more than anybody else. Maybe they're just resilient and they fought and they said no. But because they never adopted that religion, that's why the people refer to them as Wadabi, like Bodike Dina. So they, the Karmini Dina, it's like for them, Dina is Haram, you know? Like uh, Bukhari Ahmadu Farana in, in Mali, the, 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 the griot in Mali said, La ilaha illa Allah, the Karminitum, Sako Muhammad the Rasulullah, Nakta Hunduko Mabbe. Meaning, La ilaha illa Allah, they made it haram, Muhammad the Rasulullah, Nakta Hunduko Mabbe. It's not going in their mouth. So, those are the Warabi people. They, even today, man, even as we speak today, a lot of Warabi people do not care about religion. It's just not their thing. And maybe it's a good thing, maybe it's not a good thing. Who am I to judge, right? But that's uh, that's the, the the response. That's the question. That's the answer. I know, and we can explore the topic further. We can explore it, and people know as much as uh, this uh, this this uh, contrib contributor uh, Saini Bayero. Uh, you know, if people know as much as him, him, you know, just share it. Just share what you know, and then we can go from there. Okay. Somebody said they're the most handsome. All right, cool. Uh, but that or but Adina, yes, Suleiman Sumana, yes, you are right, hundred percent. But Adina, they uh, they reject your religion, and that's why they call what Abe. And if you look in today, they don't really care about Dina either, even today, as we speak. Most of them, anyway. There's always rule uh, exception to a rule, but there are rules. And my friends, ladies and gentlemen. And rest my case. I hope you like this little session about what are the people. And if, like I said, if somebody want to add something, hey, DM me or write in the comments and we take it from there. Thank you very much. I am going to turn it off.